Now I'm going to show you how to set up an auto reply. So again, log into the cPanel and click on the mail icon and move down and it says auto responders right here. You want to click on that. Now they call it auto responders and you'll see in my list I called it auto replies. The reason I do that is because this is not an autoresponder. If you read my book, Perpetual Profits, when I talk about autoresponders, I am not talking about this. So this is what I call an auto reply. An auto reply is when somebody sends you an email and you instantly send them one and only one email right back. And autoresponders enable you to, if somebody submits a form or sends an email to an autoresponder, they can receive an email instantly, but they can also receive an email tomorrow, an email five days from now, an email next month, an email next year. You can have like a hundred emails pre-programmed into there, and you can actually have a couple thousand emails pre-programmed in a predefined sequence. So let's click on autoresponders and set one up, and I'll show you exactly what this means. So here we're going to click add autoresponder, and for this to work, you have to select an email account that you've already set up. So the only one I have set up currently is superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com, and that's the only .com that I can select here. Now here it says percent from, it'll say the center of the message that was sent to the autoresponder. So here I can just put Brian Campbell resubject okay so if somebody sends an email to super brian at pizza delivery secrets dot com they're gonna get an email back that says it's from brian campbell and it's just gonna say re and then whatever subject they put in their email and the body can be something like this dear friend thank you for contacting me at Super Brian at Pizza Delivery Secrets dot com. I'm sorry, but I am away on vacation for the next two years. Please contact me at pizza delivery secrets dot com forward slash contact dot html and here we can put http www dot thank you Ryan Campbell okay so that could be our message now I'm not trying to tell you what to use this message for there's a lot of uses for this reply so uh, you can tell people if they email you at a certain email address that you won't be checking it and to have them go to a contact page where they can submit a form where it can go to the email address you do want them to send it to you can tell people anything you want uh, so basically if somebody emails superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com, they're going to get a message back instantly that says, thank you for contacting me at superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com. I'm sorry, but I'm away on vacation for the next two years. Please contact me at the following URL. Thank you, Brian Campbell. You can tell people, I'm sorry you've reached an email address that we aren't checking. If you would like a response, please use this email address. You can uh, set up to do whatever you want with it, but... Sometimes it's called a vacation reply because it's an automatic message that tells people that just emailed that email, tells them different things, and you can set that to be whatever you like. So we hit create modify, and it says autoresponder created, and that autoresponder was successfully created. And here it is. If we wanted to edit it, we can go back in, select edit. And there it is again. And you can set up multiple autoresponders. You can set up one for each different account that you have. And if you were to click on this autoresponders again, it'll go in and it'll tell you how many 
Now I'm calling it an auto reply. They call it an auto responder. It'll tell you how many are set up. So that's a useful tool to know about when you're creating email accounts and when you're creating a website is how to set up an auto reply.